Another book that I got is this one. This is the uh, Asian Faces. This is, it's a book specifically for Asian girls. And on the cover, you can kind of see there's like, you know, this is like a sort of an Indian girl, and and this one, this one, and this one up here. No, this one, up, this one up here, are kind of um, Korean or Japanese or Chinese. So she kind of goes over several types of Asian girls, and I this one unfortunately only has application tips and not too many product recommendations. In fact, no product brands are even explicitly mentioned. I think the most uh, the author ever says is like use a you know peach pink lip gloss or something. It doesn't actually say MAC see through or something like that. But I liked this book because it's like a magazine, but, you know, a book <laughs> bound. And she goes through a lot of the basics of makeup. You know, she talks about you know, different kinds of makeup, from, like, cream blushes to powder blushes to, to you know, various pencils and just a lot of things that I've never seen before and probably never used, but... It's good to learn, you know, what's actually available in terms of the beauty products that we're using. Sometimes we get kind of accustomed to one particular product. We don't even realize there's, oh, I've been using, you know, cream blush for a while. But, you know, I, using powder blush, it kind of didn't cross my mind, right? So there's actually a lot more than just that here. There's a lot, a lot more. And she kind of goes through all of these things. And then uh, here's just some like, sponges, like little little sponges that you, you know, little uh, eye applicators and different things that you should have on hand. And then she goes through with the brushes that you should own. And she goes through it by name, some of which I never heard of. I don't know if I ever need any of these brushes, but it's good to learn about them. <laughs> actually, after reading this part of the book, I actually wanted to buy some more brushes. So you know, she goes through you know what these brushes are, what their functions are, why you know what kind of person would need these brushes, and uh, they're really very educational. I don't, you know, I I only know a couple of brushes. I don't know them in this detail. More brushes, okay. And then she goes through the, you know, parts of the face, you know, what you what what it's called and such. Um, this book also begins with skin care and talks about various things and depending on the type of skin that you have. Unfortunately, like I said before, she doesn't really talk about brands, so you kind of have to improvise as you read through the book. So she goes through like foundations and powders, and, you know, and then she goes to each um, part of your face, starting with the lips. And uh, she, she has all these, you know, various examples of the types of lips that you can have or what kind of lips you have and what you can actually do with it. And some of these styles, she actually also mentions, like, you need a certain personality to pull it off, which I think is really true. I mean, some of these, you know, this, like this red lipstick down here, you know, you have to be a... I don't think I can do this one. You have to be, like, a sophisticated, you know, 30-year-old or something. Um, she goes through a couple of different kind of lip products and she kind of guides you through, you know, what to use. And, and then she goes into eyes, eyelids, and how to, how to apply eye makeup. And it's actually a lot more complicated than I thought. I, I thought I knew how to apply eye makeup. I, obviously, I was very wrong. Um, this page, it gives you like four different layers of eyeshadow that you could potentially have on your eye at once. You know, it's like... Over here, this is like the darkest, like for instance, this is the darkest shade you want to have right against your lash line. And then a, a medium shade that goes up to your crease. A lighter shade that fills up your whole lip. And then a highlighter that goes right under your brow. I mean, I, did, I normally don't do this. I, I, I do the highlighter under the brow thing, and I do, maybe I do like this right on the lash line. But this is a lot, I mean, this is pretty complicated. I, I wouldn't have thought of this on my own. Um, she goes through, you know, again, various different types of eyelids, and how to do your lashes, and various kinds of fake lashes out there. Most uh, of the fake lashes that we see are, like, 
or like this one. Here, like individual fake lashes. I've never heard of individual fake lashes. I've never seen it. But apparently, you can have these, and they, they give you a lot more control when you're applying, and you can actually adjust you know, how many lashes you want to have in one part of your eye versus another part of your eye. Yeah, I think you might want to have some experience in, uh, in uh, applying falses, falsies before you uh, buy those. And then she goes into eyeliner, you know, different types of liner available depending on your eye. Skipping ahead of a little bit, she spends a large chapter on um, contouring, which is actually a really important part of makeup. Most of us, we don't, I mean, I don't contour my face on a daily basis. I don't think it's necessary, but I think for a nighttime look or some slightly formal look, it is good to know how to contour. She, you know, she goes into detail about how to contour various parts of your face, starting with, you know, the cheek and jawline and the forehead. And, you know, it's, it's pretty helpful to me. And then here it, you know, it breaks it down for you depending on, you know, this is dark, if you have dark skin, this is how you should contour. This is, if you have light skin, this is how you should contour. Very specific, very complicated, and, you know, again, not something I would do on a daily basis. And then the next section, she goes through, this is day faces, she goes through um, various types of faces using, and from here out, it's very much like a magazine. You've got you know, a girl, a model on one side, and step-by-step -step instruction on how to get her look. So she goes through day faces, nighttime faces, bridal faces, couple of other like yeah, and then uh, different like different cities you live in how you should do your makeup like New York has a certain look Chicago has a certain look San Francisco has a certain look it's, it's pretty interesting and you kind of go through and just look at you know the models and, and just, you know think about what kind you know what kind of look you want here is uh, here's the girl from Lost she's the only one I recognize that Korean lady I think she's really pretty but, um, yeah, it goes, you know, it's very much like a magazine, except maybe more professionally done and published in a book. So not everybody in here is a model, actually. This girl, for instance, is, I think, she's just someone slightly on the ordinary side. So that there's a, this is a picture of her um, without makeup, and this is a picture of her with a, uh, with makeup and a theme called Green Envy. So, so there's a lot of styles uh, mentioned here and, you know, special events, what you should have in your bag and, and that sort of thing. A lot of advice going on here on Saturday night, you know, how you should do your makeup. I, I really found a lot of this very helpful. I can't say I would actually do all of these, but it really was, uh, it was interesting to look through these and just see the different types of makeup that you could potentially do with your your own look. So, yeah, I really uh, did enjoy this book. Too bad I didn't have, you know, product recommendations because I would have really enjoyed that. And then there's also some costume in the back. If you're into you know, Japanese kabuki, Jap it's a type of Japanese opera where they do this, you know, this really elaborate makeup with costumes. And and you've ever seen it, it's just absolutely amazing. So, Asian Faces, if you are interested, you know, just in exploring types of makeup for your own face, you know, regardless if you're Chinese or Korean or Indian or Filipino or Indonesian, you know, regardless of what part of Asia you're actually from, she goes through a wide range of Asians. It really helps you, help me a lot. And, and the Five Minute Face, once again, it was a great book, a great buy. I thought that it went through a lot of things, and most of the products that were listed were pretty, uh, pretty recent. And so, it's I guess once this book is out of date, it's going to be kind of useless to me. But I get, I think for the next, you know, three or four years, it should be okay for me. So this book, I believe, was about sixteen dollars. This book was about the same, like 14, 15 dollars. So both of these great buys, I greatly recommend them, and I hope you guys um, will find these helpful at one point or another. Thanks for watching.